Okay, so today is footwork day, gang. So you're sitting at home, you're wondering like, God, what do I do? Can you do footwork home? Yes, actually, this is an advantage. We're gonna take this obstacle of being at home, being in your living room, and make it an advantage, and I'm gonna tell you why right now. Most of the time when we try to do footwork on the court, guess what? We go out, we learn some footwork, and what do we do? We try to go out and hit a ball with the footwork. The problem with this is you haven't really trained your footwork. So when you go out and you're focusing on the ball and trying to get there and do the footwork, it's a disaster. So this is why this time at home right now when you're in your living room is an advantage. You can't hit a tennis ball. And for the most part, people are like, but Kevin, isn't that a disadvantage? Not right now, because you can focus on your footwork and nail it, get it down. So when you go back out to hit a ball, you've done so much work that it's just a habit. And that's the advantage you have right now. So don't lose this time, use this time. So the thing we're gonna focus on today is the backhand open stance footwork. And I chose this because most people struggle hitting the open stance backhand, whether you're a two-handed backhand or one-handed backhand. They, they've trained so much on the forehand side, but they haven't done the same work on the backhand side. So again, I'm in my living room here, and I'm gonna show you exactly how you can work on this at home. Let's get started. So the very first thing we wanna focus on is the split step. And you're like, what, the split step? Yes, you wanna focus on the split step. The reason why it gets you ready to move. After that, the next move we want to talk about is the outside leg. I'm hitting a backhand, I'm right hand, I'm a right-handed player, so my left leg is gonna be the outside leg. So split step outside leg gets me ready to move. Notice how this is almost like a runner's position, my weight's here. Now with this, I'm just gonna take two steps. One, two, and you can see how I'm loaded in my open stance position here. Now this is the key from going split step, outside leg, one, two, loaded. Now, I will say this. You're probably going, Kevin, you know, what if I have to run a lot more? Well, you take a couple more steps, but you always wind up on the outside leg. So you have to measure the ball. For example, boom, split step, one, and then two, and then look, I'm covering this much court, but, or this much living room, if I go split step, outside leg, one, two, I've covered more living room area, court for you. But the key is I'm measuring my steps by taking a little bit bigger steps to get more distance. You may have to take a couple more steps, but it's key, winding on the outside leg. So again, split step, outside leg, one, two. From here, it's really important that as we swing on the open stance, we hit and look what happens with my legs. It goes from this runner's position loaded on my outside leg for my open uh, stance to swing this way and I'm ready to recover. I'm gonna cross over with this leg and then square up and then split step. So if we put this all together, we have three different phases, going out to the ball, hitting the ball, and then recovering. And it looks like this. Split, outside, one, two, hit, crossover, square up, split. And you wanna make sure you split step when your opponent's making contact with the ball, but you don't have to worry about that right now. The biggest thing is go ahead in your living room and do this whole sequence over and over again. Walk through it. You should be in your living room watching TV, maybe even watching a match. That's something you could be doing. Split step, outside leg, one, two, hit, crossover, square up, split. And do it over and over and over again. Now here is my challenge. I don't just wanna like show you how to do this, but I wanna challenge you to do this at home. And what I want you to do is set up either a camera where you can videotape yourself and watch it, or take a picture, have a family member take a picture of you and I want you to post it, okay? I want you to go hashtag home tennis and also tag essential tennis. I wanna make this a huge thing that you go out and you practice this, get this down, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna get somebody to take a picture of me and a video and I'm gonna hashtag it and tag essential tennis so you know I'm doing the exact same thing in my living room, getting better with my tennis. So don't let this whole obstacle of being in your living room, just sitting there, having you sitting on the couch and not getting better. You can improve every day, and this starts today, okay? So I'll see you sometime soon. I wanna see those posts, and I wanna see how much better you're getting.